Not to start drama, but did you know there's a suspected link between rosacea and these tiny little mites that live in the pores of her face? They're called demodex. Aren't they the cutest little things? Just look at them. But seriously, what are they and how are they related to rosacea, which is a pretty common condition? Here, I'll show you. The first thing you need to know is that everyone, yes you and me, have these tiny little mites that live in the pores of our face and feed off our oil and dead skin cells. To prove it, I once caught some of my own using scotch tape, and here's what I found. So I left the tape on overnight because that's when the mites are most active. And then here's what's under the microscope. There it is. That's a Demodex mite. And guess what? It was still alive. Look at it waving its little arms. So each little mite has eight legs and they mate in the follicular openings. And I even found an example on my face. I named them Jim and Pam. Anyways, the females then lay those eggs in your follicle or sebaceous glands and then they hatch three to four days later and develop into adults. What's this have to do with the rosacea? So in studies, those with the rosacea were found to have more mites compared to those without rosacea. So we know there's a link there. It hasn't been exactly worked out yet, but that's why we use ivermectin, a topical antiparasite, to treat rosacea. So what do you think? Are they cool, not cool? Shouldn't we make friends with them? Demodex.